All right, so I'm sure you've seen recently that we've been working with this new monster clutch coming in. Um, one of the other parts of that, and the flip side of it, is you need a bleeder for it. Anytime you have a Corvette, it's a must that you need to get a speed bleeder for the car. So today I'm just going to show you how quick and easy it is to install the speed bleeder on the, the slave cylinder for the Corvettes. Um, if you haven't done this before, it's simple tools and don't need a lot of uh, instructions to do so, but I wanted to provide a couple of tips that I found for installing one specifically on a Corvette. So let's get started. finished up with the new slave cylinder I have to get the speed bleeder off of here okay so one of the things I learned early on was the angle of the where the speed bleeder is is very important okay um, I went through this several times and what happened was when this was not on there correctly as I'm putting on the torque tube this was hitting either the the uh, bell housing or some other parts of the engine and not allowing it to fully sit so what it would do is it would push it enough to loosen this on there so one of the things that I've noticed is going from one to the next, if we find some way to mark this and ensure that everything is going to line up, it might be smart to do so because the one that's here is actually going to go on the new one. So what I'm thinking is the top of this, if I just make a line right down the middle, right, like this and match it to essentially this part here, I know, oh, sorry. This part here, this, this, and then this line here, okay? <clears throat> and what that's going to do is that's going to give me a good reference point whenever I assemble it on the other one. I know that this and the new line that I'll draw on the new one um, need to line up. So stay tuned. I'll have that in just a second. Okay. So I disconnected the speed bleeder from um, the old slave cylinder. And I just had the little adapter that would go in here and attach to the speed bleeder, okay? So most people won't agree with me on this, but it's okay. I mean, I, I, I try to do things with a, a little bit extra as I'm doing them. Now, I know that this, this type of threading here does not require a thread sealer on it. What I like to do is just add just a little bit on there as added insurance because the amount of work to get this little piece out is quite extensive right so I mean even if this were to leak just a little bit that little bit of insurance will save you a lot of time money and hassle trust me I've been here several times and there's been times that something as simple as a small leak can cause a lot of headache uh, when it comes to all of the stuff with the car so definitely recommend just um, adding that little bit don't put any on the edge you know these fittings have this, this conical edge here don't put any on there only on the threads okay so want to make sure if anybody decides to do that that they at least have that as guidance now all you're gonna do is just tighten this down till you can't tighten it no more because all it's gonna do is just be kind of a snug fit in there good to go all right now the same thing is gonna happen on this one I'm just gonna add just a little bit on that one as well once again this is my own preference you know somebody might come and comment below and tell me that's that's not needed I understand that <clears throat> uh, and and like I said it's better to have a little bit more insurance than less right and as you can see here I actually got a little bit on that little conical area there what I'll do is I'll come back now in a second and just clean that off there we go have a little rag right here okay so the cool thing about this one is This is where I, I was talking earlier. We're gonna get this started just for now. You just put it on there, okay? And quite honestly, if you if you have a Corvette, 
and you're planning on doing a new clutch, get the get this extended bleeder. Trust me, there's no way unless you cut um, some of the floor pan out <clears throat> to get in there. There really isn't, and that's that's just a fact. Um, some of the guys who race the cars, I've seen that they cut little panels in there so you can get in there and bleed it. I wasn't going to go through all that mess. This just sits real nice right up inside where, um, next to where the clutch is. That way if I need to bleed it, it's right there and I can also add fluid as needed. All right? Let's see, we're going to just tighten that by hand at the moment. So here's where that little trick was earlier that I was telling you about. Okay, so we talked about this earlier. I have a mark there and you can see right now there's no mark on the pipe. All right, let me loosen this up. It's hard to do this with the camera there. So once I loosen this, I can turn this. And you'll see in just a second, there's the line that I made, right? So my goal is to try and align the two of them and tighten that. The good thing about this is once I hold it right here and I tighten this by hand, not going to move. So let's go ahead and move this right over here so I can hold it down. And oh, I don't want, I'm doing this all in my office. It's kind of new for me. I don't ever do anything in here. It's always in the garage. So now, well, here's a little trick. Leave it just a little before that line, so as you tighten it, there we go. So as you can see now, this aligns with that. It's not perfect, but I'll take it. So right now, we have speed bleeder set up, perfect. We have the new slave on there, ready to go. So as of right now, this is ready to put in the car. All right, and as you saw, that wasn't a very tough task. We're able to get it knocked out in just a few minutes, but at least now you have confidence moving forward when you put it on the torque tube itself. Uh, my biggest thing was having to try and get it in there and align it and so on and so forth. Big pain in the butt. And now you don't have to worry about it hitting anything, coming loose, or spraying the clutch, which is a very bad thing. Ask me how I know. <laughs> That's actually happened to me before, and I lost the full clutch due to that. So um, I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope you uh, enjoy, and we can um, have some more stuff like this in the near future. All right? Thanks again.